Now we're going to test what you learned. Let's test your knowledge on dumping syndrome. First question. What is dumping syndrome? Is it A. Frequent diarrhea? B. Rapid emptying of the stomach contents into the small intestine? C. Eating food from the dumpster? Or D. A rapid drop in blood pressure? Please take a few seconds to figure out your answer and we'll show it on the next slide. You answered B, rapid emptying of the stomach contents into the small intestine. You are correct. Next question. What is the number one cause of dumping syndrome? Is it A, hormonal imbalance? B, eating too much sugar? 3, medication complication? Or D, gastric surgery? The answer? D. Gastric surgery. 3. The following symptoms are either early or late dumping syndrome. Which one do you think it is? Flushing, sweating, hypoglycemia, onset of 2 to 3 hours after eating, and weakness. Is this early or late dumping syndrome? If you said late dumping syndrome, you are correct. Which of the following is not a way to test for or diagnose dumping syndrome? A. An oral glucose tolerance test. B. An upper GI endoscopy. C. An upper GI series. Or D. An elimination diet. If you chose D. Elimination diet, you are correct. Which of the following is not a smart option to eat when in an acute phase of dumping syndrome? A. Fruit juice B. Oatmeal C. Chicken or D. Fish If you chose A. Fruit juice, you are correct. Which of the following is a sound dietary plan when experiencing early dumping syndrome? A or B? A is eating three large meals a day, making sure to have lots of water with your meals, eating a varied diet including copious amounts of fruit or fruit juice. Or is it B, eating small frequent meals, avoiding excess sugars, not having liquids with meals, and having more fiber? Which one would be the better choice of a diet for dumping syndrome? B, we want to make sure that people are eating small frequent meals or snacks, avoiding ex excess sugars, which are often in fruit juices, not having liquids with meals to avoid faster passing through the GI tract, and having lots of fiber to create bulk in the stool. How did you do? Let me know at dietitian at notyouraveragenutritionist.com. Thank you.